Good morning, YouTube. It is six. It is six forty. Oh, it is six forty-two in the morning, and I'm exhausted. I was up all night last night trying to upload the vlog from like Sunday's vlog. And I was uploading it and then it failed and so I had to re-upload it and it took like two and a half hours to upload and it was already midnight so I was up for a while but it's finally uploaded yay obviously so um I have to leave for work in 20 minutes uh so I have to get ready really quick um, but basically, this is just kind of like a typical, in every vlog, you'll kind of see what I do to get ready for work, but specifically for this vlog, this is a typical, like, what I will do every morning before work. This like a get ready with me before work. First, I will just kind of like clean my face. I don't always have time to completely wash my face. If I did, I would, but I don't. What I usually do is I take these cotton pads, take my micellar water, and I just wipe it on my face because it's supposed to, it's like a cleaning water. It's supposed to clean your face and get off like any excess gunk and like all that kind of stuff. So I just put this on my eyes because I have like leftover mascara on anyways. So it's been really cold in the morning. So usually I have to wear a sweatshirt. So I put one on. Put on some glasses. If it's early enough in the morning where the sun isn't out, I'll put on my glasses. And if it's, um, if the sun's out, then I'll put on my sunglasses. Then I put on a hat and we're good to go. Outfit of the day, we have LA hat, glasses, Disney crew neck, shorts, that may or may not be the same shorts from the other day, um, long socks, and tennis shoes. I'm gonna go get some breakfast really quick and then be out the door. I bought these pancakes the other day and I totally forgot I had them. So I'm gonna eat them. Also, it's 6.50. I have 10 minutes to cook breakfast and eat it. I think that's enough. So another thing I do before work is I have this cooling water from Milk Makeup and so I just take it and I just put it under my eyes and I keep this in my fridge so like every morning when I'm getting breakfast and stuff I just put this under my eyes and it's supposed to help like alleviate puffiness and um, under eye bags and like kind of just help you wake up. Honestly, I have no idea if it works or not. Um, sometimes like it does feel pretty nice it's just like putting ice under your eyes basically. Um, I don't know if it actually works, but that's something I do. Alright, let's go eat. It is 6.55. We have five minutes to eat this. Alright, it's 6.59. I finished eating. Let's go to work. Tell me something, give me hope for the night. We don't know how we feel. Okay, so today's schedule. It is 7 o'clock a.m. I go to work at 8 a.m. That's like my clock in time. And so my shift is from 8 o'clock to 1.15 p.m. It's not bad, a couple hours long. It's really not a hard day at all. And I love having shifts like this because I get off so early. So then I have the whole rest of the day to do whatever. It's hard to wake up this early in the morning. I am not a morning person if you can't tell. So like, I really hate waking up early. But it is nice to have my whole day back. The fun thing that I hope you guys kind of get to see is that every day it's something new. Like I have so much variety in my job and I absolutely love that. I don't know, not every role is like this, but for my role, um, it's like every day, different hours, different job, different shift. So like, I really like that. Okay, so I finally got home. I went ahead and microwaved the pizza that I made yesterday, so 
thank goodness I had some leftovers and I'm gonna eat the pizza and I'm gonna edit yesterday's vlog because I have to get that up and I haven't started that vlog yet so like uh, rip but I just finished work it was a pretty good day it's an easy day um what happened it was fun like it was just a nice day at work it went by pretty fast today's like my Thursday so tomorrow is my Friday so I'm so excited just one more day and then I have two days off so I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna edit and then I'll be back on later all right so here's the tea so I was in my bed editing the vlog it's been about 30 minutes editing it <sighs> it's 50 minutes i have to cut it down to like 20 or whatever and i was falling asleep while editing this vlog like i just couldn't do it anymore and i've been having really early mornings and so i decided that i was going to take a quick like 30 minute nap um just because like i deserve it you know so that was at three o'clock so I set my alarm, I set my timer, I was going to do a quick 30 minute nap, and then have another quick 30 minutes to edit. And I was really, really hoping to get this vlog edited um, before 4.30, because I'm leaving to go to the, I'm meeting with my friend at 5 o'clock, so I have to leave at 4.30 to go to the boardwalk. And so I was hoping to have this vlog edited by 4.30. I said, I'm just going to take a quick 30 minute nap from 3 to 3.30. Then I'll wake up again and I'll spend that last 30 minutes editing and then from 4 to 4.30 I'll like do my makeup and get ready. Well, I wake up at 3.30 and I decide that it's not time to wake up yet. So I go back to sleep <laughs> and I have an hour nap instead. So I woke up at 4. So it's now like 4.15 and I'm struggling to get ready. I'm sure I'll be ready in time. But the vlog, on the other hand, is not edited. Anyways, I'm getting ready to go to the boardwalk. I'm meeting up with my friend Kyle Berry. As you guys all know, he was in um, a vlog a couple of videos back. And so we're going to hang out because this is his last night in Orlando for a little bit. I'm just doing like minimal makeup. I just put on foundation and concealer and my setting powder and mascara and bronzer for my eyeshadow. I have great news, Kyle just texted and said he'll be at the boardwalk at 5.30 instead of five. And I was about to text him and just be like, hey, can we push the meeting back time later to like 5.30? But I always feel bad doing that. So I was just gonna try to suck it up. But no, he said 5.30 and I was like, you know what? Uh, that is awesome. I was pumped. So now I have an extra 30 minutes. So I'll leave at five which means it's like 4.30 now. So I'm gonna really quickly get ready and then I'm gonna edit. There's no way I can edit this vlog in 30 minutes, but I'm sure I'm gonna try. Okay, so here's my outfit. A yellow Adidas shirt with these PacSun pants. I'm just gonna wear my white Burks. I might change into white tennis shoes. I don't know. I just wear my white tennis shoes all the time. So I thought I'd change it up. We're gonna go to the boardwalks, like beachy theme. Uh, my hair all... Maybe I'll wear it in a ponytail today. I don't know, but I'm going to go edit really quick and then I'll worry about what I look like. Okay, so I'm finally in the car leaving for the boardwalk. I stepped outside and it's so cold outside. I think it's more windy than it is just like cold temperature, but I was in shorts. So I went and changed into my mom jeans instead of shorts. Um, and I'm running a little late per usual because I was trying to finish editing this vlog and I'm so close to being done. I spent like literally 20 minutes editing and like the fact that I'm so close to being done is a miracle. My estimated arrival time is 5.35 but 5.34 we're, we're gonna beat it. Um, hopefully there's not too too much traffic probably though. boardwalk and I met up with Kyle. Whoa, hello. <laughs> wow, that was a good one. Good. So anyways, we walked around, we got a water cup, it was pretty fun, and now we are at the cutest wall. Let me show you guys. So it is right by Jelly Rolls on on the boardwalk. It's Jelly Rolls and here is the wall. There's Kyle trying to be a model. Um, so this wall, it's like it's just the prettiest wall. It's blue and white and it's about like five. It's 615 and so the lighting is hitting this wall perfectly. So like, I don't know. It just, 
It looks so pretty, so we took a bunch of pictures. Poor Kyle, I made him take so many pictures of me until I got like the right one. So thank you, Kyle, for yeah. being This is like awesome. the new purple wall. Like, there's the purple wall, there's like the bubble gum wall. This is like the new one. I have not seen this wall on Instagram. Maybe yeah. I'm just not on Instagram enough, but like I haven't seen it, and this wall is so pretty, so. so we just found it, like what should we name this wall? So like, everybody in the future is gonna be taking Instagram pics here, like what should we name it? Let's name it, oh. We wow. can name it whatever we want to. Uh, the Kyle. Okay, so we could either name it like the Emily wall mm -hmm. or like the jelly roll because it's like right by jelly rolls or like the blue and white wall, the striped wall. No. I say the Emily wall. The Emily <laughs> wall. If you guys come take pictures here, I hashtag it the Emily wall. But no, don't no, actually. We should call it the jelly wall. Yeah, the jelly yeah, wall. I like the, the jelly, jelly wall. wall. Yeah. Yeah. Jelly All right, wall. so this is the jelly wall. And this already might be like a legit wall, and I just don't know. But for now, this is the jelly wall. If come to Disney, come to the boardwalk, and come take pictures right here. It'll up your Instagram game. Eventually, I'm gonna make a video talking about like all the best Instagram spots. So this is like a little sneak peek. But um, anyways, we're here in the boardwalk. Kyle, come be in the video. Hello. So we're gonna just walk around. I've been here way more than he has. Yes. Tragic. I've been here once, <laughs> and it was at nighttime. And he met Debbie Ryan. Debbie though. Ryan gave me a kiss on the cheek. Right so, there. So like that's that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna walk around when the sun sets a little bit more and everything lights up. It gets so so pretty. So I'm excited. Uh, we're probably gonna get ice cream. Then guess what we're doing? Kyle, tell them what we're doing. No, we are going to the Contemporary. We're gonna go to the top of the Contemporary because it is one of the coolest places to watch happily ever after. You just like go to the top and then like you can see everything. And it's gonna be amazing. Okay, so we just stopped at Beaches and Cream, which is a cute little diner eating place at the Yacht and Beach Club, just kind of on the boardwalk. And guess what we're about to do? We're about to go do the kitchen sink. And like, I haven't done it, he hasn't done it, and the kitchen sink is meant for four people, minimum. And we're about to go do it, the two of us. So um, we're just like, he can eat a lot, I can eat a lot. But like it is a lot of ice cream, so we're gonna try it's an entire kitchen sink full of ice cream and cake and whipped cream And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm not ready. I'm scared. I'm nervous, but um, we're gonna do it It's gonna be fun because we haven't done it before so I'm glad I'm gonna do it cause probably if I don't do it today I'm probably never gonna end I've been wanting to do it for two years ever since I've gotten here and like I haven't done it And so like we were just here and it's like today is the day. So here we go A bunch of cake, Oreos, uh, uh, chocolate, um, candy, cherries. I don't even know. Wow. About to dig in. I'm ready. All right. Gotta. We gotta get some ice cream on there. This whole top is covered in whipped cream. So what Kyle's doing is he's putting this in like little 
The great thing is, like, here's the dynamic part. I'm eating all the food, but she's cheering me on. So, like, you're also contributing as well. Yeah, no, we are in this together. 50-50. Teamwork makes the dream work. Booking it to the Contemporary, hopefully make it on time, 8.55, that's in 35 minutes. We got this, we can do it just as easily as we finish the kitchen sink. <laughs> okay, so this egg has autographs on them. I was trying to look for some of my favorite people. Um, Pooh is on there, right there, Winnie the Pooh. But I don't see Chip and Dale. For Easter, they have all of these cool Easter egg displays. So like, some of them are character inspired, like here's a Moana one. And then here's Tinkerbell, there's Jasmine, that's a pretty one. Um, and look at this Alice one. And Nemo, this is so cool. I've never been here during Easter, so it's so cool to see like how they decorate. Okay, we're trying to find it, we're a little lost. Um, turns out Kyle didn't know how to get there as well as I'd hoped, but that's okay. So we're back on the stairs in the balcony of the Contemporary, where I watched them on Valentine's Day. And we're gonna try to just walk all the way up the stairs and see where that takes us. Also, they started, it's on the Moana part. I'll show you two seconds. So, oh, that's so cool though. Oh, and you can still see the castle. Yeah. That's awesome. Go! happily ever after from the rooftop of the contemporary we made it we did it we are up here we found out the trick um basically you just walk up a bunch of <laughs> stairs and so we made it um i got to watch it it was fun watching it kyle how was your day today i had so much fun okay so we went to the kitchen sink we accomplished the chicken chicken kitchen chicken the chicken chi what? <laughs> the sink of the kitchen sink challenge and with only the two of us and usually it takes like four or five people but we did it by ourselves so that was a lot of fun thank you guys so thank so you. much for watching this video and I will see you guys tomorrow, bright and early, for another vlog. Yay. Bye! Bye!